Hello everyone, today we're going to learn a little bit about light and energy. A quick review of emission and absorption spectra. Electrons exist in discrete energy levels. Electrons are able to move between these energy levels by either absorbing or releasing energy. This energy is absorbed or released in the form of light. When it is released, emission spectra are produced. When it is absorbed, absorption spectra are produced. Since we are dealing with a light, which is a kind of wave, we will talk about energy with regards to waves. All waves carry energy with them. This includes ocean waves and sound waves. The energy of a wave is directly proportional to its frequency. Basically, as frequency gets bigger, the energy carried by the wave also gets bigger. You can think of this as the more wave fronts come in, the more energy is being transferred. Each time a new one comes in, more and more energy is transferred. This is why a higher frequency will lead to a greater energy. In order to calculate the energy for a single photon or packet of light, we will use the formula E equals H nu, where E stands in for energy in joules. H is a constant known as Planck's constant, which is equal to 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds. And nu is frequency, just as it was in the C equals lambda nu equation that we saw the other day. This equation can also be rewritten using that and substituting for nu, so that now wavelength is part of the equation. When this equation is rewritten, it is E equals HC divided by lambda, where H is still Planck's constant, E is still energy, C is the speed of light, and lambda is wavelength. Let us take a look at how to use our new equation. Calculate the energy of a photon of red light with a wavelength of 656 nanometers. Please note, because we are referencing things with light waves, we will have to turn the nanometers into meters in order to use it. The equation we're going to use is the form of the energy equation that has wavelength in it, because this will make our, our calculations shorter. So we'll use the form E equals HC over lambda. We will now plug in the things that we know. We do not know E. We are trying to solve for it. H is known because it is a given constant. It, we will plug in 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds for H. C is also a known constant, the speed of light. So we will plug in 2.99 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. All divided by the wavelength. 656 nanometers is equal to 656 times 10 to the negative 9th meters which I have simplified here and plugged in as 6.56 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Plugging these into the calculator, we get that the energy of a photon of red light is 3.02 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. You will notice that this equation usually produces very small energies like this, around the powers of 10 to the negative 21st up to 10 to the negative 17th usually, unless you're dealing with unusually energetic forms of light such as gamma light. Also, you may occasionally see this energy represented in electron volts. In order to learn more about electron volts, you must learn more about unit conversions.